This video will be about general allocation money. What is it? How do you use it? How, how do you get it? How do you acquire it? Hopefully this video will help to answer those questions. So you've probably hit a wall with your salary cap where you've built a squad. You've got something missing. You need a player. You need to add a player. And so maybe you found a player. You've scouted and you found somebody that's the perfect fit whether it be if you're starting 11 or you're looking to build for the future. But then you go to your registration and you realize that, oh my goodness, I only have, in this case, we're looking at 290000 in salary cap space. This guy's going to cost more. I guess I got to stop looking. Now, the reality is you do not have to stop looking. That's part of the reason that there is general allocation money. No longer in MLS or in MLS and Football Manager, is the salary cap this hard figure that you have to get under. General allocation money allows you to kind of get around the salary cap. Now you don't have an infinite amount of it. And if you go to your finances, again, I showed you the screen before, but if you go to your finances, go to league specific, you can see, you can see first of all, how much salary cap space you have left. I have $281,000 of remaining salary cap space. And then I have $375,000 of general allocation money available. Started with four twenty-five, dollars 25 but I spent fifty. dollars So we're going to show you a little example of how you can use general allocation money to get around the salary cap. Now, I have scouted for a player. He's a central midfielder. His name is Tibaho Mukena. The reality is he's not, he's not great. Right? He's not going to win me MLS Cups on his own. But he does kind of fill the need that I have. And the reality is this video is I'm just making this kind of to show you how general allocation money works. But I've scouted him. I've got an idea of about what he's going to cost. The scout tells me 275 to 375 That will come out of my transfer budget, which I have $1 million in my transfer budget. If you can go back to League Specific, you can see I have $1 million worth of remaining transfer funds. That does not come out of general allocation money. General allocation money is... If you recall from the earlier video, that's your monopoly money for dealing with league business. So I'm going to go and offer Thibaut Hang Makina. I'm going to make an offer on him, a transfer offer. And my scout said 375 So just to make sure this gets through, that was the maximum amount. I'm going to suggest that. He's going to accept. And then I'm going to hit yes. And then we'll go into contract negotiations. So we looked at the deal where and these will finalize promises. I had $280,000 of salary cap money available. However, uh, Tibaho is going to ask for 466. Now I might be able to, to get him down a little bit. Like we can go down to 455, but that's going to be, that is going to be a way above my $280,000 available. It's $170,000 <coughs> uh, of a salary cap space that I don't have. So, and, and I'm also going to lower these numbers here. And so I'm going to go to suggest terms and see if he accepts. And it's going to tell me, like, listen, you have only have $120,000. Um, so you, you do not have enough salary cap space available. So if you, if the player accepts this contract, it is going to take $120,000 out of the general allocation money to pay the salary exceeding the minimum, the maximum salary cap. So what this means is I can use general allocation money to pay down the salary cap impact of a contract, right? So if I, if to get this player in, if I accept this, then, then I'll get the player on my squad even though his salary pushes me past the salary cap. It's kind of like a designated player, but a little different. So general allocation money can help you build a team stronger than what even the salary cap would allow you to build. You do have to be somewhat frugal with it because it is not it is not infinite. It is a scarcity, right? You only have so much. So you do kind of have to be economical about how you spend it. So you need to try to get those contracts down as much as you can so that the general allocation money that you have to spend is minimal. Uh, there's other ways, you know, you can get around... Um, having to spend as much in your allocation money, you can raise the signing on fee. Uh, maybe a higher agent fee will let you bring down the salary. 
So you can play with that. I'll leave that to you. But this is a great way to use general allocation money to make your squad better. So you can also use general allocation money to buy down the salary cap impact of players that are already on your squad. And it's actually a pretty simple process. So here in this Houston save, you see my squad that I have here. And let's say I want to buy down, uh, Ronaldo Pena has a $250,000 salary. And let's say that I want to buy that down. So you right click with your mouse to bring up this list here, of menu items. And when you go to contract, you can go to buy down salary cap impact. And what you see over here is a little sliding bar. And you can see how much general allocation money it will cost you to buy that down. So he's got $250,000 is his salary and that's the impact that his salary has on the cap I have three hundred seventy five thousand dollars in general allocation money so let's say I want to bring it down just a little bit to two hundred twenty two thousand well that's gonna cost me twenty five thousand and it's not an exact dollar for dollar buy down there's some kind of formula involved um, if you want to go all the way you can see that that would bring me that would cost me one hundred thirty thousand dollars of general allocation money to get it down to one twenty five. So that is how you can buy down the salary cap impact of a player that you already have on the squad, and that'll open up some salary cap space for if you're having if you're at a registration date and you need to get below the cap so that you can get all the guys that you want on your in your registered registered squad. So that's a great way to do that. So here's an example of how you can earn allocation money through your league play. In this save with the Houston Dynamo, I was able to win the MLS Supporter Shield. And here you can see from this news item that I have been awarded an allocation fund of $200,000, which goes directly into your general allocation budget. If you go to finances, league specific, you can see awarded as prize money and $200,000 I got for winning the supporter shield and you can also see the total 475 so um, that's you know another way that you can earn allocation money this is an example of earning allocation money in this save the Houston Dynamo have qualified for the CONCACAF Champions League and therefore they have earned one hundred forty thousand dollars of allocation money now this the uh, CONCACAF Champions League qualification general allocation money is not awarded until the end of the season so it could be that you maybe win your conference final and that does qualify you for the champions league or you win the supporter shield and that qualifies you for the champions league but you won't receive this notice until after the season is completed but as you can tell i did get that hundred forty thousand. it actually brings my allocation money up to seven hundred thousand available now so even though I, I spent some at the beginning of the season, the better you do in league play, the more that you will earn of allocation money. As I have made a profit, and that means going into next season, I'll have 700000 that I can help to build my squad to bring in players that I might not normally be able to bring in without all that allocation money. So at the beginning of every season, you will get some emails that will give you some information on your general allocation money and targeted allocation money allowances from the leagues, some of your allocation money being spent, designated player slot purchases. I'm gonna go through just a couple of examples here so you kind of understand what those are, what they mean. But first of all, this is an item in the inbox that talks about MLS player rights. I've discussed this a little bit in the past, but this email uh, gives you an idea well, it gives you a list of the players that whose rights you hold and these players are obviously they're no longer with your club they do they're no longer on your squad however they left your squad to go join another team sometimes they would leave your squad they would leave mls to go join a foreign club sometimes they would leave mls to join a lower league club but you still hold their rights their mls rights so what that means is if, a, if another MLS club wants one of these players, they cannot just approach them and sign them. So FC Dallas could not just approach David Roca and offer him a contract and sign him like a free transfer. They could not offer Extra Madura a, uh, a transfer offer and then negotiate contracts until they 
work out a trade with me to gain his rights. Now, that's only true for MLS clubs. David Roca could sign for any other club outside of MLS through the usual process, but if he wants to return to MLS, then the club that he wants to play for has to negotiate with me first. So that's how that works, and this is just a list of those players. Now, on to allocation money. First of all, we have this item here that tells me that because I did not have an extra designated player slot, I gained $375,000 of general allocation money. So that's good news. Next is I received $3.9 million of general allocation money as a yearly grant. The item also goes on to tell me that it's a little higher than usual because I just joined the league as an expansion team. That obviously is incorrect. There's that's some kind of bug that made its way through uh, the, the testing process as Houston Dynamo has been in the league since 2006. So they are not a recent expansion team. However, uh, it worked out for me because I got $3.9 million in this case. And next is um, how my targeted allocation money was increased. Every year, MLS off, uh, gives an allowance of targeted allocation money. The purpose of this is to help you bring in high profile players from around the world to join your team, to join the league, really is the reason that the league gives you this. They're trying to raise the profile of MLS. And so they want teams to buy down the salary cap of one of their existing designated players, which essentially makes them not designated players so it helps you to build your squad it, it, it would in uh, in effect what it practically does is it allows you to have more designated players than you have slots for so i got that allocation money targeted allocation money and you'll be able to see that if you go to your finances screen to the league specific and it will show your targeted allocation money uh and he says zero, but that should move up. Hopefully it does whenever you go into actual negotiations. So you have that. Next is, I was forced to spend some of my general allocation money. Now why? It says that it was to buy down the cap impacts of three players who exceeded the maximum cap impact for senior players. That sounds kind of confusing. I'll try to explain as best I can. So these three players have contracts that are higher than what a senior squad player contract is, is cap is. So every senior squad player has a, a wage cap. They're supposed to only make this amount, uh, a certain amount of money or less. So these three players, I've given them contracts for more than, which is good. It, it, it allows me to get past one of those limitations that you have but it's not i can't do that for free i have to spend general allocation money to make that happen so these are three players that are already on my roster their salaries exceed that cap amount and so i have to give up some of my general allocation money to pay for that here is a uh, an item about my board buying uh, an extra designated player slot so that they can accommodate the three that i have and then you have the TV money that you receive at the beginning of the year. So that is some of the emails that you'll get. And you, there may be some others. Obviously, the amounts are going to be different um, from, you know, from one team to another, depending on how many players you have, whose caps exceed the senior amount, uh, so on and so forth. But hopefully that helps you to kind of understand those emails that you get at the beginning of every MLS season. Maybe the most valuable use of general allocation money is paying your salaries down to get your squad under the salary cap in MLS. The salary cap can feel like handcuffs, keeping you from building a, a strong enough team to really be able to compete at a continental and even a beyond level. And so the general allocation money is a way which you can break those handcuffs. So in this situation, I've got I've got a pretty big team, and I, I've got a very expensive team, and we're going to see that when we go to my players registration screen. If I can get there, and this is the Champions League, but we'll go to the Major League Soccer. So you can you can see here, my salary cap is four point two four million dollars per year. However, I am well 
above that. I am at almost $7 million. That's close to $3 million above the cap. So that means I've got to use my general allocation money to pay down some of my players' a salary. So first thing you can do, and this is kind of what I do, I'll go to salary and I'll sort it by the salary amount so that the players at the top of the list here are the ones who I'm spending the most on. Now, most of the time, and I'm pretty sure if we scroll over here, we'll see that, yeah, the top two are definitely my designated players. Um, so what I'll do is go to contract. Now, you won't be able to buy them all down, but I'm going to try and start at the top and see which ones I can. So I'll go to buy down salary cap. And then you've got this sliding scale here to buy them down. Now here, I can't buy his down. I cannot buy Minotas' um, down. So I'll go to the next one. Although, is he? I don't know. He's not a DP. So let's see if we can buy his cap impact down. We cannot. So we'll go Duke as a DP. Uh, Christian Ramirez. Let's see if they'll let me buy his salary cap down. And it will. So I'll go down as far as I can. Let's see what difference it makes. Um, not a whole lot, but enough. So I'm going to buy that down. It only cost me 195000 of general allocation money. Still have plenty left. So then I will go back to the squad screen. Albert Elise, let's see, he was a de designated player, but I already used tr targeted allocation money to buy his down. And I can buy his down, so that helps. seeing it yeah so we'll buy his down and that might be enough to get me around we'll go look at the registration real quick just to see no still well above so we got to keep doing it um and I, I won't take you through the whole as i go through everybody you can see what i'm doing i'm trying to buy down enough salary to where my players the squad that i have is under the salary cap now it could be that you just can't buy enough players the salary cap down far enough to get yourself under the cap. Unfortunately, that does mean you're going to have to make some tough decisions. You're going to have to pick some players to not keep. Uh, hopefully, you're coming to that decision before registration day. I'm looking at it's February 18th. I've got uh, three weeks maybe before I have to make that, uh, make that tough call. So that gives me a couple weeks to try and move some players off my squad if I can't get under the cap. But that might be the most valuable use of general allocation money is buying down player salary so you can get under the cap. And that concludes this video about general allocation money. If I left something out or if you have any questions that was not made clear by this video, please post them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.